Evening Prayer for Tuesday of the fifth week of Lent. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We begin with the Psalms. God has crowned his Christ with victory. A reading from Psalm 20. May the Lord answer in time of trial. May the name of Jacob's God protect you. May he send you help from his shrine and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and receive your sacrifice with favor. May he give you your heart's desire and fulfill every one of your plans. May we ring out our joy at your glory and rejoice in the name of our God. May the Lord grant all your prayers. I am sure now that the Lord will give victory to his anointed, will reply from his holy heaven with the mighty victory of his hand. Some trust in chariots or horses, but we in the name of the Lord. They will collapse and fall, but we shall hold and stand firm. Give victory to the King, O Lord. Give answer on the day we call. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you accepted the perfect sacrifice of your Son upon the cross. Hear us during times of trouble, and protect us by the power of his name, that we who share his struggle on earth may merit a share in his victory. God God has has crowned crowned his Christ Christ with victory. We celebrate your mighty works with songs of praise, O Lord, a reading from Psalm 21. O Lord, your strength gives joy to the king, how your saving help makes him glad. You have granted him his heart's desire. You have not refused the prayer of his lips. You came to meet him with the blessings of success. You have set on his head a crown of pure gold. He asked you for life, and this you have given, days that will last from age to age. Your saving help has given him glory. You have laid upon him majesty and splendor. You have granted your blessings to him forever. You have made him rejoice with the joy of your presence. The king has put his trust in the Lord. Through the mercy of the Most High, he shall stand firm. O Lord, arise in your strength. We shall sing and praise your power. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Father, you have given us life on this earth and have met us with the grace of redemption. Bestow your greatest blessing on us, the fullness of eternal life. We We celebrate celebrate your your mighty works works with with songs songs of praise, praise, O Lord. Lord, you have made us a kingdom and priests for God our Father. A reading from Revelation. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain. With your blood you purchased for God men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have made us a kingdom kingdom and and priests priests for God God our Father. Father. A reading from the first letter to the Corinthians. God singled out the weak of this world to shame the strong. 
He chose the world's low-born and despised, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who were something, so that mankind can do no boasting before God. God it is who has given you life in Christ Jesus. He has made him our wisdom and also our justice, our sanctification, and our redemption. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. The Canticle of Mary. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone because I always do what pleases him. My My soul soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My My spirit spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel. For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, because I always do what pleases him. The Intercessions Christ our Lord has warned us to watch and pray to avoid temptation. With our whole heart, let us pray to him. Turn to us, Lord, and have mercy. Jesus, our Christ, you promised to be with those who pray in your name. Help us always to pray with you to the Father in the Holy Spirit. Turn Turn to to us, us, Lord, Lord, and and have have mercy. mercy. Bridegroom of the church, Cleanse her from every stain. Teach her to walk in hope and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Turn Turn to us, Lord, and and have mercy. Friend of the human race, teach us concern for our neighbor as you have commanded. That all may see you more clearly as the light of the world. Turn Turn to to us, Lord, Lord, and and have mercy. King of peace, Give your peace to the world. That your presence may reveal your saving power in every place. Turn Turn to to us, Lord, and and have mercy. Open the door of eternal happiness to all the dead. Welcome them into the glory of unending life. Turn Turn to to us, Lord, Lord, and and have mercy. Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow in both merit and number. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.